That is a roger, yellow one. The intel is sound. I just don't want this to be another mission, whitefish. Trust me, yellow one. Neither do I. Yellow one to base. Go ahead, yellow one. Can you please verify the size of what we are looking for? Sure. Early reports are that the subject is over 50 meters in height. Huh, wow. That big, huh? Yep, that big. You know, I should be fishing now. Is that right? <laughs> yep. I was just about to head out with my son when I got the call. And I played the good soldier. You played the good soldier. This is getting pretty ridiculous. Remember, this is for the good of the nation. Sure. Not so much for the good of my marriage, though. <laughs> I hear ya. You do realize that I'm in this with you. Well, there is certainly that. So how much longer do we keep at this? I'm told until we locate the target. Great. How the heck are we not seeing this thing? Yellow one! Yellow one! Get the hell out of- Oh my god, no!
Okay, one more answer. Y E S. Let's see what type of vegetable you are. Hmm. Sweet potato. Let's try that again. You have an email. What the? No, 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 no. This, this can't be right. Oh God, jeez. Well, where, where, where's the manual? There you are. Yes. Okay. Calculating trajectory times velocity. the numbers in twice and it is what it is I think you need to make the call yeah it's time to wake up the general I don't envy you wish me luck I'm gonna need it sure it is a gun in my pocket. No. I'm not happy to see you. This better be important. Whoa. Whoa. Slow down there, soldier. You don't just call me in the middle of the night and... Wake me up with Poppycock. Poppycock? Well, it's like a bunch of hooey or, or nonsense. What? You never heard of the word? What the heck are they teaching you in basic training these days? Ridiculous. Are you sure? And you check the math. So... Aliens. Have we calculated the trajectory to a landing site? Sorry, what? Crash site, then. No, that's not good. We're going to need a tracker. We're going to need someone good. No, someone great. We're going to need the best of the best. Spare no expense if you catch my drift. That's right. You know what I'm thinking. Get him on this right away. Time to bring out the big guns. Martha, get my pants. <clears throat> Skipper, Skipper, it's me. 
your best friend, your most trusted ally, Slotha, Red Fez. Uh, the general asked for you to meet us in the jungle. There's an unidentified flying object phenomenon you must check out. I'll send you the coordinates. Coordinates, GPS coordinates. I'll text you the address. Goodbye. My source tells me that a local tribe of Amazons retrieved the power source from the fallen spacecraft. It's a disc-shaped item that they have taken to calling the Gazongas. It's our job to track it down and retrieve it. This map doesn't exactly show us where the Amazons are. It's gonna take all day. Stay sharp. We may be dealing with a savage bunch. <laughs> that, uh, that doesn't sound too savage. You'll never catch it, you know. I'll bet you I can if I tickle you. <laughs> <laughs> Any, any better idea. Besides, they're clearly the tribe we're looking for. Marion? 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 Huh. Interlopers! Let's kill them. Let's take them to the queen. She'll know what to do. Mighty queen, remove the blindfolds. <clears throat> Check out the gazongas. Really? The amulet around her neck. It must be the gazongas. Are you sure of that? When it comes to gazongas, I know what to look for. Are we still talking about the amulet? Yeah. Sure. You two are charged with trespassing on sacred land. For centuries we have lived here peacefully. Your presence here has disrupted the natural order of our people! What do you have to say for yourself? My dear, I... How shall we address you? For generations. Too many to count. The tribal chiefesses have been bestowed with the name. A name that instills power. A name that chills the hearts of those who utter it. The name of my mother, and her mother, and grandmothers before her. A name that you should be honored to address me as. That name, that name is Peggy. Oh, well, well, Peggy. We're but poor, weary travelers. We mean no harm. If you would but give us food and shelter for the night, we'll be on our merry way. Spend the night? On the ground? Da -da. Very well. You will be our guests for the evening. But you shall leave tomorrow! Thank you. Now, if you don't mind. <laughs> What is it? I need you to leave so I can be alone with Peggy. I bet. 
I just need to be alone with her long enough so I can get my hands on the gazankas. I know what you mean. Just do it. Fine. Can you please excuse me for just a second? Stay within the camp boundaries. Otherwise, it will not be good for you. Okay. <laughs> I trust you are enjoying yourself. I am now. How so? I never thanked you personally for sparing our lives. We do have rules. However, we are civilized. We do have compassion. And I like that compassion. That's good. I think we may be too close to the fire. I think the temperature is just right. I may not be from your world, but I still know what's considered appropriate. Do you? Do you really? The world changes. Things change. People change. Come with me. <laughs> I don't think I can. Sure you can. What? This is so exciting. I've never done anything like this before. Of course, any men that have visited the island have died moments after landing. Um, nonetheless, never before. Right, right. But if we're, uh, if we're gonna do this properly, we need to, uh, take care of a few things first. Such as? Such as, um, remove anything cumbersome, like, uh, this watch. This watch is, is, this watch is just gonna get in the way. Ah, uh, of what? The stuff. You know, the stuff. Oh. Take, um, this, this amulet or, or, or whatever it is. It is so gonna get in the way. Okay, I'll just, I'll just take this off and I'll put it right down there. Uh, yeah. Peggy. Yes? I have something to show you. You do? I do. Show me. What's that? Over there! What? Zoink! Zoink? 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 Let's go. Yeah, I almost got this. What? Are you crazy? I've got the gazongas. Oh, yeah, right, right. Oh, wait, wait. What? I called in a favor. There's a plane waiting for us at the edge of the island. Great. Yeah. Good evening. Clinical Trial KTNT Part 1. Please excuse my surroundings. Recent events have separated me from my lab. I'm attempting to splice DNA with the substance, along with this common houseplant. I believe that once unleashed to the elements, the substance will require a biological host to survive. Containment has been difficult, and I'm afraid that unless I can control this, future tests will be impossible, as the KTNT may become unstable, resulting in God knows what. Here we go. I should have worn a watch. Well, er, 
Apparently results are favorable. The host seems to be accepting the splice. That's not a good sound. <sighs> Excuse me a moment. <laughs> It looks like the test subject did not work well. Uh, perhaps a different specimen is needed. <sighs> Good evening. Clinical trial KTNT part two. The substance seems slightly unstable. Uh, the elemental breakdown has resulted in a few surprises, uh, namely that there are elements that require classification, uh, new elements, uh, foreign elements. Uh, this will require more testing at some point. Uh, there does seem to be an organic nature to the substance. I believe that this will have the ability to splice with an organic of this earth. Uh, previous testing had resulted in immediate decomposition. The basic genetic makeup of the houseplant unfortunately resulted in an unstable environment. I have since decided to conduct tests uh, on live animals. I have acquired a primate to conduct the DNA splicing with. Uh, the specimen seems uh, healthy and of good nature. Uh, aside from a rather dreadful incident regarding some oatmeal this morning, uh, I have full confidence that the experiment w will be successful. <sighs> I have modified the delivery method of the KTNT to pill form. Injection, I believe, will result in too intense an experience for the specimen. Right, here we go. <laughs> behave! Behave yourself! He's survived! <laughs> well, the dose has been administered. Now we wait. Indeed. The name of the dog on the Brady Bunch. Tiger, you already asked me that. <sighs> ah! Oh! Ah! The guards have been tranquilized, sir. Um, upon first observation, the subject seems in good spirits. There does not seem to be any adverse effect at all, actually. Well, that is certainly surprising. I'm not sure what's happening with the test subject, but with further tests, I believe that we can isolate the anomaly and get some concrete results here. No! Ah! Wait, Susan, are you okay? Susan! They found me. I need to turn this off, but first... There you go. Your chains are off. Run! Hide! They cannot find you. Do you understand? You do understand. Incredible. You better go now. Hide! Now, to destroy the evidence. The target is terminated. No, sir. No one alive, sir. It looks like there was an animal that was chained here, but no sign of it. Understood, sir. There is a camera we will collect as evidence and burn all traces. Understood, sir.
Do you think Mom will let us have a pet? No. Well, if you, we could have a pet, what would you have? A uh, snake, a tarantula, a dog, a cat, a hamster. Do you think she'll ever let us have one someday? I don't think so. Oh, I hope so. Major Ryan. It's time? Yes, sir. Of course. Hmm. Okay. Here we go. Darn it. What? A 
sorry. Having a bad morning. What? When? You're certain it was the work of foreign military agents? They took all the alien items. Everything? What about the specimen? I know there was going to be a live test subject. My twin brother updated me on the progress. Speaking of which, can you please put him on the line? Uh, are you certain? Shot dead? In the back? I see. He was always the handsome one. No. I understand. No. Yes. We need to regroup. The test subject. Is it still at the compound, or did they make off with that too? So it escaped. We need to find it. If we don't, all is lost. This takes priority over everything else. If we have a chance of making things right, we have to get going. Find that monkey! How long can you hold yourself up for? What's the weapon? There isn't one yet. You go first. Okay. <laughs> so where's the go? <laughs> Enough is enough. I need to find that monkey. Operator, all hands on deck. Let's get every available resource on this. You heard me. Everyone. Well, sure, why not? Yeah, even him. In fact, put me through to Major Bummer right now. What? What? Hello? Major Bummer? Wake up, soldier! It's pronounced Bumier, sir, but I, uh... Did I ask for an opinion, soldier? Oh, ex-soldier, sir. Yeah, I know. Honorably discharged. Sure. But you know what, soldier? Your country needs you. And we need you now! No, no, I I understand. Like, like, today, now? I wouldn't know any other now other than today. You know what I mean. Look, clean yourself up. I'll send you the mission information to print out. And now get going! Oh, yes, sir. Yes, sir. <laughs> That's the spirit. Go get him! Bummer.
boys, chipmunks are more afraid of you than you are of them. You mean like you and Spider's mom? No, no, spiders are different. They have eight legs and a million eyes. <sighs> I gotta go in and make supper. Play nice, okay? Here's a snack for when you guys get hungry. Thank you. Thank you. Okay, have fun. Again. Come on over from the playhouse, I'll sneak in. What? You ate all our snacks? I'm fine with you. How could I eat them? Let's have a look in the playhouse. It's a baby gorilla. Can we keep him? <laughs> sure, but I don't think we should tell mom. What should we name him? Conga. Hey boy, you wanna come to our room? See what all the fuss is about. Uh, you've got to be kidding me. Well, let's get to it, soldier. Oh, let's go. We can't have mommy find Conga. Why not? Because we can't have a cat until we're like 12. I assume we can't have a gorilla until like we're 100. Makes sense. Are you hungry, Conga? No, that was my stomach. I didn't get my snack today. Thanks, Conga. Is everything okay? Yeah. yeah. I'm coming in. Now what's going on in here? Nothing. Why are you answering me like you're asking me a question? I don't know. Mom, what's with the 10th degree? 10th degree? Okay, what's going on over here? Why so suspicious? There's a saying among moms. When there's quiet, there's trouble. We could be louder if you like. That's not what I meant. Never mind, I'm out. Who that was a close one? Not so quiet. Eww! That was a close one! Good afternoon, ma'am. How are you today? I'm fine. Everything okay? Yes, yes, everything is fine. Uh, no need for alarm. I just wanted to know if perhaps you have seen this ape. Ape? You're asking me if I've seen a wild ape on the loose and not to worry? Are you kidding me? I, I'm sorry. I, I, I just didn't want to worry you. Well, you did. And no, I have not seen any apes. Jeez. Well, I wanted to... I can't believe this guy. Oh, 
was a close one. Too close. Do you know what this means? No. More time to play with Conga! Yay! Tell me you have some good news. Nothing yet, sir. I just wanted to check in is all. Now, what kind of an idiot would call with an update of, I have nothing? That's the call when I call you? Just thought you'd like to know. That I'd like to know that you didn't find anything? That's ridiculous. I understand, sir. It won't happen again. It better not. I want you to update me every hour on the hour! You understand? But what if there's nothing, sir? I told you not to call me and report nothing! You, soldier, need to get your ears checked! Understood, sir. Good! Talk to you in an hour, then! Yes, sir. Maybe, sir. Yes, sir. Maybe, sir. I have one hour to find that ape. Conga, what's wrong? Yeah, we're gonna need more backup. Only Danger Force can help us now. Time to get the team back together. And now a special news update with KBN reporter Megan Bacon. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We will return to who's making cakes after this important bulletin. There have been unconfirmed reports of a large creature roaming the streets of our city. Some have described as a large chimp. Others believe the monster to be that of a monkey variety. Well, I'll tell you folks, this anchor does not quite know the difference. What's this? Yes, I'm just getting this. We have some amateur footage coming in. We will cut to this footage immediately. Oh my, are, are you seeing this? This, I've, I've, I've never seen anything like this, ever, I swear. This, this is monumental. This is, this is not a special effects, folks. This is coming to you straight from my camera phone. This is, oh, Hi. I, uh, well, I'm speechless, folks. <laughs> You've got to be kidding me. <laughs> oh, I'm 
I'm sorry, ladies and gentlemen. There must have been some mistake here. We now bring you back to your regular program. Good night. Yeah, yeah, no, I'm on it. I'm on it. Yeah, I can get it fixed. Yeah, it wouldn't be more than five bucks. Yeah, yeah, give me a call back, actually. I, I just heard noise out back. I think it's Vidal. He's been missing. Uh, we haven't found him for weeks. So I think he's out of the barn. I gotta go check it out. Yeah, 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 call me back. All right, bye. Give me. Give me. Where are you, boy? Give me. Give me. Where are you, boy? Give me. out there somewheres. I'm gonna catch me a Bigfoot today. Hey, what's that? Whoa, he's even bigger than I thought. Nobody at the Bigfoot Society is ever going to believe this. <sighs> Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. I'm Megan Bacon. We will return you to where we left our hairpiece after this important news message. I believe that I may have acted rather hastily earlier this evening when we reported a large ape-like creature on the loose. After multiple reports, we can confirm that there is indeed an enormous ape running through the city. What are its motives? What are its thoughts and feelings? What is its favorite food? And if it is bananas, will we now be forced to pay a premium for this commodity going forward? Local authorities are advising people to stay home. If you must leave your house, please be on the lookout. If you come across this creature, please do not feed or engage in any way. The public is also asked that if they do see the creature, to call the local authorities immediately. We thank you for your cooperation, and we now bring you back to your regular scheduled programming. Major Bummer, you're three minutes late. Yes, sorry for being late, sir. It, it's Boumier. Any word on the backup? The troops are on their way! Bummer!
Pajama. Whoa, that is one skyscraping ape. Sir, I'm sending coordinates to right now. I'm tracking this movement. It's about time, soldier. We don't have all day, you know. Yes, sir, you should be getting it right now. Are you sure, soldier? All our readings are negative. Video confirmation. I don't see anything. Eh. That's one big monkey. Oh, no, no, wait, wait.
There is no way that I'm going to let some gorilla rampage discommode this amazing life that I have. Don't you agree? Yes, you do. to where we are. Are you sure he's gonna chase a giant hot dog? If I was a giant gorilla, I would chase a giant hot dog. Let's go. We interrupt your programming to bring you this important message. Millions have left the city and millions more are on their way out under the advisement of our mayor and local law enforcement. There have been many reports of mass destruction throughout the city. This creature is certainly upset about something. Upon multiple attempts at finding out exactly what the creature is upset about, we have learned two things. One, he does not just eat bananas, but live on the scene reporters. And two, he has not bathed in days. Those that are not able to leave the city are advised to stay in their basements if possible. If you do not have a basement, find a neighbor or find cover under your kitchen table. If you are in a high rise, seek shelter at low levels. Above all, please stay safe. We now bring you back to your regular scheduled programming, which is the news? Is that a thing? Oh, 
Send in the airstrike! Condo is moving away from the city. Get me the general on the horn. You need the Inceptor 5 now, sir. Video confirmation. I still don't see anything. Start digging that trench and fill it with gasoline. I want to order a large pizza. <laughs> Yes, General. No, it uh, looks like he got away. I have no idea where he went. It's a mystery. I don't care what the facts are, Major. A thing of that size doesn't just up and disappear. That is no way to talk to your superior officer, soldier. Not while he's investigating the death of his own twin brother. So you've been honorably discharged again? All right then, ex-soldier. Well, all the best to you too. Well, 
I can't believe that guy. Trying to convince me that this massive ape just disappeared. What kind of malarkey is that? Actually, I think I have an explanation. Wait, what? How? Great to see you too. Let me explain. So in my research recordings, I mentioned that the KTNT was very unstable. When I applied it to a plant, the plant fizzled out. Okay, so instead of the ape fizzling out, his genetic makeup eventually rejected the foreign element. Once it left the host, the monkey reverted back to his original size. Ah, next question. Well, that is a story in and of itself. Yes, I was shot. Yes, I was considered dead. But here's the crazy thing. Not sure how I feel about more crazy, though. Well, since this craziness is over with, I think you're good. Gotcha. So after I was so rudely shot in the back by terrorists, my body fell in the smallest drop of KTNT. So it made you grow big? Heck no. That's not scientifically possible. I'm no ape. All right. What did happen was that all my wounds were healed within a few days. Imagine that. I'm trying to. And that's it. So is there any of the KTNT left for analysis? Not a drop. A real shame, though. <sighs> True, but it is nice to have you back, brother. Jimbo! Timbo! Should probably sanitize myself. You're right. Good evening, ladies and gentlemen. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you this important message. As soon as everything started, it has ended just as quickly. Law enforcements are just as baffled as the general public. The creature has disappeared. I repeat, the creature has disappeared. The city, and for that matter, the world, is trying to figure out exactly what happened. From here, all we can do is look for answers. Answers for questions like, what was the motive for the rampage? Did it find what it was looking for or accomplish what it wanted? If so, is that why it left? Where did it go? And how did it leave without a trace? We may never know. Hopefully, we do not have to go through this ever again. For now, we rebuild and forget the time that our city was run over by a monkey. We now bring you back to Fun with Marmalade, already in progress. Good night.